A pleasant day everyone. Welcome once again to our uh, lecture for today. Uh, today we are going to talk about integration by substitution. Integration by substitution. As mentioned in our previous video, we have integration by substitution by uh, algebraic functions. We have uh, trigonometric functions, exponential functions, and many more functions class. But today, we are going to focus our discussions on integration by substitution, specifically in algebraic functions. So in our previous video, so we have solved one example for this topic. And as mentioned, we will use the general power formula in doing this. Uh, the general power formula which is integral of u to the n du equal to u to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. So that's what we are going to use in our solution. And take note class that from this formula, from this general formula, R in here must not be equal to minus 1. Okay, so take note on that. So last time we solved one example. So today I'll, I'll give you one more example in this video and then another example uh, for another video so that it won't take uh, so much time to see this video. So I have to separate uh, two examples today class because the second example today uh, will be a very long uh, solution or will have a very long solution okay so this is our example number two for this topic integration by substitution so example number two we're given the integral of x squared times 5 minus 4x cubed and raised to power 3 dx. Okay, so what we need to do is to identify what is our u and what is our du. So to solve this problem, from this given, and we can also rewrite this as uh, the purpose here, class, is that uh, you, so that we can uh, easily find what is our u and then du can be solved. So we can also rewrite this given class as integral of 5 minus 4x cubed raised to the power 3 then times x squared dx. So we just uh, put x squared beside dx. Uh, there's no problem with that class because this is just multiplication. Now, our n here from this uh, given, our n is equal to 3. So therefore, our n plus 1 is equal to 4. Alright? Because we have here n plus 1. So that's what we're going to substitute later on. So from here, let us 
uh, let our n oh, sorry let let u be equal to so this one that is uh, enclosed with the parenthesis you know, 5 minus 4 x cubed so that is our u then solving for du over dx derivative of u with respect to x is equal to so derivative of 5 that is constant to 0 so this will be minus so derivative of this so this will go down from our differential calculus the power will go down so this will be uh, 4 times 3 then x to the power 2 all right so that is differential calculus plus huh? because we are doing or resolving the derivative of u with respect to x so therefore our du over dx equal to minus 12 x squared okay now if you are going to multiply both sides by dx or just cross multiply dx so we will have du equal to minus 12 x squared dx so our goal now is to find du because we replace this by u so we must replace this by du so this part here so we have to find this part what is that in terms of du so from here so from this du so we have uh, x squared x squared dx so solving for x squared dx so we will divide both sides by negative 12 okay so dividing both sides by negative 12 so we'll have du divided by minus 12 equal to so what is left on the right side is only x squared times dx all right so we can now replace x squared dx by its equivalent which is in terms of du so from here all right class I will I will rewrite it here so from here we can rewrite now this as integral of instead of this since we let this be equal to u so we can have u then the power or the exponent is 3 then times x squared dx or x squared dx is equal to this one so you substitute it here so this becomes du divided by negative 12 okay and writing this so this one class is just the same as integral of u cube times uh, 1 over uh, so this is 12 plus not 2 but it's 12 so this is uh, the same as 1 over negative 12 times du okay so I will uh, rewrite it here and uh, we can isolate this 1 over negative 12 so this can be written as negative 1 over 12 then integral of so you have u cube times du so you see now we arrive in this uh, general formula so we have derived this one uh, through the process no? so this time we can use the formula so this is equal to minus 1 over 12 then integral of u cube du using the formula so it is u to the n plus 1 so this is u to the n plus 1 where our n plus 1 is equal to 4 divided by 4 then plus c so we have here denominator denominator you just multiply the denominators multiply the numerator so we have negative uh, 1 over 12 times 4 is 48 then times u to the power 4 then plus c or equal to minus 1 over 48 and our u is 
for u is equal to this. So you substitute back our u here. So therefore, in terms of instead of writing u, so you write 5 minus 4x cubed. raised to power 4 and plus C. So that is our answer. Okay? I hope uh, you were able to catch up us. How did I uh, solve this one? Any question? If you have any question, you may send it via GC. Okay, so I will give you the th uh, third example uh, in our next video but before uh, before that you may try to solve it yourself before you watch the next video try to uh, solve this problem because this is our example number three which I'm going to solve in our next video so our example number three the given is the integral of 3 x squared minus 2 and raised to power 4 times x cubed times dx so try to solve this one and then uh, check your answer in our next video okay so thank you very much bye for now see you later